Good day, gamers. Welcome once again to another Game Master Dave Plays. And here we are once again trying our Dwarf Fortress. The the stream the other night did not work out so well. It ended abruptly for some unknown reason. And uh, <laughs> what, what if my wife just... What, is she fishing? Is she dwarf fishing or something? What's happening? <laughs> Did we did we weave some cloth or something? Oh no, <laughs> things are falling. She is crazy, my my dwarven wife. Where's your dwarven beard? Where's your dwarven beard? Oh my gosh. So uh, chat is open, uh, and uh, if you have never played a uh, dwarf fortress, I can certainly help you. I am by far not an expert, but it's certainly fun so far. Uh, Although Ginger says it looks very boring. But it's it's the tedium that is exciting. <laughs> and what is the motto of Dwarf Fortress? The motto of Dwarf Fortress is, losing is fun. That's right. So if you've played Dwarf Fortress before, uh, let me know. If you've never played Dwarf Fortress before, let me know. Chat is open. And I'm going to just... I'm going to go buy some things pretty quickly, but I'm going to explain enough of things that I think you might find interesting ginger says why just why so we're gonna do 100 years of history so we're creating another new world you can create as many worlds as you want you can have 30 worlds running you can have a thousand worlds running but i don't know no ginger asked if they have to do with one another well actually i was about to say no but that's not true See, if I went in there, I could retire the last fortress, I could retire the fortress, and then that fortress would continue living in that world, and I would just start a new one in that world. I could literally start a hundred forces uh, in the world. Um, oh, hey, Steve, how you doing? That is uh, Shamna Score, right? Did I say that right? So this is an amazing day for me in multiple ways. Because first of all, check, make sure you... Uh, subscribe like follow whatever on my youtube channel because um coming soon uh, and steve does not even know about this um but i finished a war striders video with my friend josie so warstriders.com we literally finished it today and then what did steve do steve's been working on the background music for my postal rap um uh, postal rap song and steve literally finished it today now we might still tweak it we might still re parts of it but it is ready to go out so this has been like what day is it it is the 14th of december the year 2022 and this is like a classic day indeed so i can't believe both projects get got uh, fixed so let's level up with some dwarf fortress or actually maybe level down because uh we're gonna be digging the first thing we need to do is we got to set up the world now the one crazy thing about this world is is that uh all there are things going to be happening everywhere on this map uh, that is what makes dwarf fortress so nuts let's level down steve says that's right um uh <laughs> ginger's laughing in the other room so one of the things is that even though we're going to have our little seven dwarves working on a fortress there's th th tens of thousands of other other creatures, even, you know, maybe 100,000, 200,000 other creatures that are flying around the world, moving around the world, swimming around the world, and Dwarf Fortress keeps track of all of that. It's unbelievable, right? You can see right here, in the age of myth in the year 80, okay, historical figures are, there's 9,000 plus historical figures right now. So we can go look up every single one of those historical figures and find out what they've done. You could, there is actually a legends mode in this game where you do nothing but just read history. And here's some of it already. In the late spring of 72, the forgotten beast, Illid Rain Insects, <laughs> was struck down by a dwarf in Bell Merchant. In 74, the human Subi blowing councils became the lawgiver of the certain empires. And in the late autumn of 75, the human speak cut speck it L lurid relics <laughs> became the absolute field of the cult of wax okay it, it just goes on from there <laughs> unbelievable 
So we're only doing 100 years. You can do 250 years. I bet you can do 5,000 years. And look at the historical figures. Look at the abridged chronicle, 66,000 records, right? And every one of those records is readable. It's just unbelievable. So they constructed, it looks like they constructed a lot of stuff here. Okay, so uh, we got 14,000 historical figures. We can keep the world and return to the main men menu, but we are going to play now. So it's setting up the world. Now, in the old version, there was an old version that was very non-user uh, UI friendly, user interface friendly. Um, and it was all, all by ASCII and uh, keyboard controls. Apparently, there were mouse controls, but like nobody used them. Uh, a lot, there was a lot of tile sets that you could use, so at least your dwarves were like smiley faces or something. Otherwise, in the original version of it, uh, they were just like the, a small little letter D. I, I tried to get into the regular Dwarf Fortress, I don't know, six times or something over the last 15 years. Just never got into it. So here's Legends. Legends means you just go in and read history. That's all you do. Uh, but it's hilarious. Adventures is is basically you're going to have a party of dwarves, or maybe it's only by yourself. I'm not even too sure. I've never played Adventures. I've never played Adventure. That's coming soon. It's not out yet. I got this on Steam. So they will eventually have the Adventurer come out. And uh, by the way, uh, Steve, um, uh, oh crap, I'm nine units late. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and what did Bob forget? <laughs> I can't wait to post that. All right, but we are playing Fortress Mode. Okay, so it's going to advance here for um, like a couple weeks. So this is an ultimate, uh, uh, not city builder, but, you know, um, what do they call it? Like, uh, um, basically, this one started all the genres, like RimWorld and everything else. So, and Bob forgot the retirement kit. That's right. So I'm not going to start the tutorial. Please feel free to ask questions. I'm going to try to talk about everything that's going on. Um, so the first thing we need to do is find a spot that is livable for us dwarves. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to find an embark location. And these are basically our, uh, our, our parameters that we want to make sure that we have or don't have. So Savagery, since uh, I'm relatively new to the game, I, I generally know how to play, uh, but I'm relatively new to the game. I'm going to keep it calm. Um, and the one thing you want to be very careful about is this aquifers. All right. So basically aquifers is going to be your underground, underwater. Uh, what do they call it? The water table. That's basically what it is. It's the water table. So if you do um, any of the any levels of these aquifers, right, or just as you know, Let's see if there's a I thought there was a light version but um, if you do oh there's, there's light and heavy I'm sorry if you do any version of it basically you may not be able to dig down now you don't have to dig down you can you can dig ta you can make towers you can make castles you can make anything you want but of course digging is how you get stone and dwarves really like to live under wa under the water <laughs> dwarves really like to live um, underground so um, now, I could say, you know, I want a lot of gold. So gold, yes, no, but we're just going to do not applicable. All right. So now this is our search function. It's still pretty non, there's some elements of it that are non-user friendly still. Like figuring this all out, you know, could take an entire tutorial, but there's some great people doing to tutorials right now. Um, Blind IRL, I follow on Twitch and I've watched many hours of his stuff uh, that's blind IRL and I think he's got a YouTube channel I mean I know he's got a YouTube channel because I've watched his YouTube stuff too so um, I, just by watching his stuff I've learned a ton of stuff by the way the music is always really low until it's not so if you uh, if the music ever gets loud let me know I will adjust the volume so we got a few new people that just came in I'd love to hear if you have play Dwarf Fortress or not. All right, so now the green zones are areas that we could live in. But look, so here are, these are basically some starting spots that they recommend these green places, right? So I'm going to click on one. Um, right zoom to, uh, I want to uh, match found. Okay, I think I press begin. Oh, what? I pressed the wrong thing. Oh, I'm going to show. Why is it doing this again? Why is it doing it again? 
I thought that I would press on here. Click and bark to place your forges. Right click to zoom out. To recenter plus. Okay. Or hold and drag the middle mouse button. Oh. Okay. Um, right click to zoom out. To zoom out. Okay. That's what I was looking for. I was looking for this, uh, this, this screen here because, um, this is what we need. Okay, so like right here, so we can see here, basically trees too. Trees are a good thing to have around. So uh, you can see here, uh, trees are woodland, other vegetation moderate. Flux stone layer, I know is very usable later on. Uh, you want a little soil, you want some soil, you want uh, s some metals maybe, and you want a flux stone layer. Why did, why did that happen? Okay, so this says sand, some soil, flux stone layer. So this is good, but what's here? See, this is elves. You can see right, uh, you, I was about to point to it. You can see up in the right-hand corner, it says that it's elves. Well, we, we don't necessarily want that. There's some mountains down here, so let's zoom in here, and it doesn't look like there's a lot of guys in this area, and I have completely lost my mouse. There we go. So clay, little soil, flux stone layer, iron, silver, copper, zinc, but no soil. We definitely want soil, although we could deal with the clay. Actually, we could deal with clay. Oh, no, that would be considered a soil, too. So what's out here? This is going to be more sand. What's down here in the woods? Let's check that out. Iron, gold, silver, copper, nickel, lead, but no no trees. Does, isn't that a forest right there? That must be a swamp or something. Okay. Let's go. What is this thing over here? Uh, human hamlet. Um, I did choose calm. Where does it say calm? It should say calm somewhere. Uh, will, surrounding wilderness. Surrounding calm. All right. So we could go somewhere in here. Iron. Oh, I'm sorry. Iron, silver, copper, zinc, lead, flux stone layer. Let's zoom out. Let's go over here to this island. Ooh. Very deep soil. A ton of stuff. This would be really safe. Trees, woodland. What's over here on the water? No vegetation. Trees, woodland, other vegetation, moderate, calm, clay, very deep soil. Part of the part of the thing is finding out where you want to go. I thought there was one that was... Oh, yeah, look at all that. Nobody's going to come bother us from over here, but we're on an island. I wonder if that really affects anything. It, it might, we might get hit by water zombies, uh, Ginger says. That is definitely true. Um, wow, there's a ton of great stuff here, but I'm not too sure that it is, uh, let's just go here or chat can tell me, what do you think? Island? Yeah, let's go to the island. All right. So we're going to go to that one there. Uh, no enemies. We should do just fine. We've got a water source right there or nearby. We should have a water source. Actually, I hope we do. <laughs> I guess we're gonna. I guess we're gonna find out, right? Um, okay, so you can prepare for the journey carefully. Choose all your skills, equipment, and animals. We're not gonna do that. We're just gonna play now and use our tutorial. Not tutorials. I am not doing a tutorial. Uh, and yeah, it looks like. Oh, I should have checked elevation. <laughs> I didn't check elevation. Okay, that's okay. So I'm gonna pause it. All right. So this is our. This is our. Uh, the yeah. So here we go got nothing so we're just gonna dig down so you usually want to choose like a cliffside or something like that but that's fine where everything is okay don't worry about it we're gonna dig 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 so here we go we're gonna go down into the earth actually we can let's look around because down here okay good so we can go fishing there's a water source fresh water source what is this stuff that's sand I bet red sand uh, we got lots of trees around. Looks like they're bitter orange tree trunks, so we can uh, we can collect oranges. We're just in the middle of a woods. Nobody's gonna suspect us here. No goblins here. Audio is low now. Is mic by your face? Okay, thanks. Is that is audio better? Let me know. This might. I'm trying. I'm using a different, a different, um, a different uh, mic. I'm using a different headset because the other headset, like it wasn't like the mic. What mic wasn't working it wasn't picking up stuff so okay so we are in a forest we chose a forest this time not a problem 
we are going to dig a stairwell. Let's put it right here by the by the cart, which is fantastic. We're going to dig one level down, and there you go. All right, so now we're one level down, um, and we can start uh, digging some stuff out here. Let's make a couple hallways. Let's see. I see uh, Blind IRL. He creates some really interesting designs. You can go square. You can go round. You can you can do a whole bunch of stuff. Now let me uh, unpause, and you will see that uh, we'll go back up to the surface, and one of these miners will come over here. They just dug the stairwell right there. See that? And then we're going to go down one layer, and they're going to start digging out down here. And let's see what we hit. Might hit some different stone. All right, and it looks like we are hitting uh, Loamy Sand Cavern, which is fine. All right, so one of the first things we want to do... Uh, by the way, I have it also on slow motion. So um, <coughs> just, for teaching, just for teaching the game or just showing off the game, I have it on slow motion. But who knows? This might be the best cavern we have ever made. I have no idea. Uh, and I hit red sand floor. Okay. So, uh, we can actually go to our dwarves, and we can see... All right, we can give them uh, labor tasks. So, we've got one that's a miner. Anybody else is a metal crafter, a mason. We could make this mason also a miner, at least temporarily. So, why don't we do that? That way, we get uh, two miners working. All right, so now let's create our first storage room. We got to move all that stuff from the uh, from the cart into uh, into st into somewhere somewhat safe, out of the weather and everything like that. So we can do that. And uh, so they're just gonna dig for a little while, and um, we can go check out some other stuff. So let's go back up to the surface. And we can start to make a zone. So let's go down. Let's go down here. The biggest pond we have here. Actually, all three of these. We're going to create a zone for... We got a fisher dwarf. So we're going to create a zone for this guy to go fishing. Um, there we go. And uh, where's the fishing, fishing, fishing? Pit pond. <laughs> Fishing. Okay, I was like, I, I can't remember where this fishing zone was. All right, so uh, let's go up here and let's create this big, big zone for fishing. All right, so now we're just going to accept that there. So um, we used our zones. This is our place zones to establish meeting places, uh, uh, areas, pastures, and so on and so forth. And uh, we're going to go back up to our cart. And pretty soon, now the next thing we're gonna have to do is, now by the way, this is all 3D. Think of layers, layers, layers. So these are the treetops. So these are the treetops as I'm going up the layer. Now we are going to have to eventually, uh, okay, cool. So things are dig things are happening around here. We're making our little storage room. They're eventually gonna dig, dig, dig. We can also dig farther down. And by the way, just tell me what you're interested in seeing. You know, you might as well. Um, so I'm going to go down another layer and we'll go down another layer because eventually we're going to want to see if we can find stone, right? Okay, great. And then shortly we're going to make it this a uh, storage unit once they, uh, once they stop digging, digging around here. Now you can change the priority of this stuff. So that we can basically say, let's let's dig this stuff stuff. Oops, let's dig that out too. Oh, I didn't want to make that that big. So let's go to the eraser. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. Uh, th there's so much digging that's going to go. But basically, I just changed the priority of that digging, so that instead of them going down and digging the stairwells, they uh, they came up here and they dug uh, this section out. So. Steve, send me questions or anybody else. Now, you only have so much food, drink, seeds, meat, and fish. The objective is is that you uh, you need to um, get an economy going. Just like any other you know build, uh, building game, you're looking to get an economy. Okay, good. Our storage unit is built. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a stockpile in here. 
and um, we're going to just, because it's our initial stockpile, we're just going to tell it to store everything right up there. And now all those other dwarves are going to start bringing stuff down. Is the uh, fisher dwarf fishing already? How do you move stuff? So right here. So basically what just happened is I just made a storage unit. And dwarves will pick up jobs. Dwarves will just pick up whatever jobs are avail available unless you, um, unless, you, unless you give them a different command. Like you give them a specialized job. Then they will only do that job. So we can see if the Fisher Dwarf is fishing. Oh, look, all these items, store item and stockpile, that's all their jobs. So the Fisher Dwarf is actually storing an item in a barrel right now. Maybe because he caught a fish. Not too sure. Uh, but we can also go into each one of these guys, right, and take a look at them. You want? Let's look at our Fisher Dwarf. So actually, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to go here on this screen. So he's 62 years old. He's healthy. He's hauling raw. Oh, he, 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 he got a raw palm turtle. He's got raw palm turtle. And we got so we got to make a, a kitchen for him to cook some food, and then our food will go up. Uh, and this is what he says right here: "I am finished up some work that was satisfying. He feels satisfied at work. He disdains power, good memory, good with language. He he's poor focus, high kinesthetic sense, inclined to abstract. And by the way, all of these things have effects in the game. Every single thing that I just read will have a minor effect in the game. Here's his entire personality." He has an amazing memory, a great affinity for language, a very good sense of the position of his own body, a very good feel for social relationships, a sum of patience and good creativity. But he has poor empathy and, and quite poor focus. He strongly prefers discussions of ideas and abstract concepts over handling specific practical issues. He feels strong urges and seeks short-term rewards like finding that turtle. He rarely feels discouraged. He tends to avoid crowds. He doesn't cling tightly to the idea, uh, to ideas and is open to changing his mind. He is brave in the face of imminent danger. It did say he's a proficient fighter. Even though he's our fisher dwarf, we may want him to uh, actually uh, be a fighter for us. So, um, you know, for him to join the squad. He is brave in the face of imminent danger. He has little interest in joking around. He doesn't focus on material goods. He is not inherently proud of his talents and accomplishments. He is quite ambitious. He needs alcohol to get through the working day. He likes working outdoors and grumbles only mildly at inclement weather. <laughs> I forgot to mention all of our dwarves basically need alcohol to, uh, to, to, to live. If you do not have alcohol, they get very grumpy. They get very grumpy. Okay, so we're going to... I had it on pause. By the way, there is a personality for every single person <laughs> there. Okay, I need to go upstairs and check because do we have other animals? We do. We need another pasture because the problem is is that all these animals will come into, into, the, um, into the fort. They'll eventually come down there. When I make a meeting space, they'll come down into the fort and they'll basically poop all over our meeting space <laughs> and uh, and it, they'll create miasma I, I'm guessing right so now watch the animals will will go up there to the pasture this is signifying that it's a pasture up here now we also probably are going to need some wood so what is this okay let's get out of here so this is a kumquat tree trunk so let's cut it down Right, so we should have one guy that's got a. We'll grab a hatchet, the dwarf, uh, and he will uh, he will cut that tree down. All right there he goes. You can see it's flashing now. So he's gonna go over there and cut that tree down. Yeah, uh, Steve, this game is ridiculous. So now what is this? A colony of termites, dense dogs. That's never seen the colony of termites before. That's pretty cool. We can also gather a whole bunch of plants. So why don't we why don't we set a set a gathering plant zone? This these plants all oh, look really good over here. So um, did I do it? I guess I didn't. Oh, I did. Yeah, yeah. It's got them all zoned up. See, they're they're starting to flash. So now all my dwarves are gonna go gather plants. I don't know why my pasture is <laughs> nobody seems to be hanging out in the pasture. All the animals are they tied to the are they tied to the uh, thing? I got a pen pasture up there. I have no clue. Okay, so how do you brew booze? Okay, we haven't we got it. We got it. We're gonna have to dig, 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 dig. 
So let's create another workspace. Let's create a large room over here. And this can be our like workshop area right next to all of the uh, right next to all of the supplies. We'll put a bunch of workshops in there. Um, and so then also, uh, what else do we need? We need a meeting area. That's at least to start out with. So let's make another spot over here. And we're going to need a kitchen. So we can make another spot here. And uh, you can create your fort however you want to. I've, there are some beautiful fort, fort, uh, forts out there. No, the pasture does not need a fence. Now, of course, the problem may be is that um, it may be that uh, um, you want defenses. Eventually, something bad is going to happen, right? Somebody bad is going to come, most likely. And so they will just kill your animals on the outside. So you want to potentially move them inside. By the way, you can see our dwarves here. Some of them are getting happy. This is our population. We only have seven. And uh, three are neutral and four are getting slightly happy. So we are going to have to uh, figure out, oh, what is this? This is white sand. I haven't seen white sand yet. That's cool. Let's go down to our bottom layer that we have here. And this is sandy clay. So I'm not happy with sandy clay. Um, I think there's a way that I can continue the stairwell down I, instead of just keeping pressing this. Uh, Anybody that's watched Dwarf Fortunes before, if you can help me out, that would be uh, that would be nice. So, and then let's uh, let's dig some you know sample tunnels going out this way. We got to find some stone, make some stone stuff. Okay, <clears throat> so no, the pastures doesn't need a fence. Anybody else? Uh, feel free to ask questions too. So let's go up to the surface. They're gathering those plants. They cut that wood down. They're going to start moving the wood down there. Oh, that's right. I know why they didn't go to the pasture yet. Because a dwarf needs to lead them there. And I, I got them too busy. I got them too busy with uh, with other tasks right now. So, um, okay, so good. So we got one of our miners working down here now. Now you can see the storage unit is pretty darn full. So let's uh, let's create another one. Actually, I think I'm going to do the living space here. We'll do the inn and tavern. I'm sorry, the meeting space we'll do here. The inn and tavern we'll do over here. So um, that's just what I'm thinking initially. And then where and then we'll put the bedroom somewhere around here, too. Now, thinking about defense, I, I, I'm not too sure what to do about defense yet. Um, and we also want loamy sand. So let's see, white sand, silty clay, sandy clay. We're gonna want to, um, we're gonna wanna uh, make a, we're gonna, so you talked about making booze, right? So once we get our room cut out here for the uh, craft places, we will make a brewery and we will make a farm. So let's see, let's go one more layer down. You know, we could know. We want to. We want to do one more layer down. And um, silty clay, sandy clay. Let's do silty clay. That sounds like it might be good. Because what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a uh, we're gonna make a farm area. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oops, I'm gonna have to connect it. All right. We are going to basically uh, we are basically going to um, set up a uh, a farm with plump helmets down there. This is red sand. Very curious. Look how uh, that's an interesting color. Uh, and like I said, I do have it on slower motion just so I can get used to it. Now well, these guys are still not in the pasture. What is this? This is a stray yak bull. And by the way, you can check out their personality too. So no official position. <laughs> He's feeling weak. There, there's the yak's bull personality. He has great feel for the surrounding space, a good intellect and great good creativity, but he has little willpower. <laughs> he is concerned only with matters practical to the situation at hand. It's insane. 
So there are so many stories. You can find tons of stories on the internet and tons of videos all over the place of the madness of Dwarf Fortress. They are all hanging out in the cart. Why are they doing that? What is this guy doing? Okay, so he's healthy. He fought fondness talking with a friend. He felt satisfied at work, and he felt satisfied after felling a tree. Awesome. All right, so let's go check on our storage units, which is great. This was going to be our meeting area, so let's create a let's create a zone for a meeting area. Um, so basically, this is uh, you want to give the you want to give the dwarves a meeting space because uh, they 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 want to that we could do a new inn tavern or a new library, a new hospital. Um, let's hold let's just do a meeting space right now we'll figure out what we're going to do with it later so now the dwarves will come down here and hang out and they'll socialize we have a peacock <laughs> stray blue peacock that's tame awesome so and then pretty soon we're gonna once we get this other room uh cleared out we're gonna set up um all of our workshops that we need so you'll see how that all happens. And then we're also going to set up our farm once that gets dug out. Great. So that Fisher Dwarf is off. Oh, we also need a water zone. So let's go get some fresh water. Water source. So, oh, no, nope. let's, let's, go, let's go right here. This, is, this one is really close. So this should be fresh water. So they will get fresh water from that source. Um, nope. Okay, and there's still a couple items in the in the wagon. Um, there's a couple black caps, black caps, iron anvil. So uh, we will have to move that into the fort here shortly. Okay, so you can see everybody hanging out in the meeting room now, including the yak. I thought the yak. Let's okay. Let's go back up to the surface. There's something wrong with our pasture. Let's figure out what is going on with the pasture. Pasture. So this is the pasture. Let's. Um, I think there's. I think at least there's something wrong. Uh, okay. So pen pa Oh, that's right. I did not select animals to be in the pasture. There we go. Doi 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 doi. Stray dog. No. Stray mule. Yes. Stray peacock. Yes. Stray yak bull. Yes. Stray two humped camel. <laughs> Yes. Okay. So that is what I did wrong. <laughs> you have to learn a lot of stuff by, uh, you know, trial and error sometimes. The videos are very helpful, but sometimes you just have to try. Now, a dwarf should go get that peacock and, and bring it up. But the dogs and the cats would just wander around like crazy. Let's change the priority of uh, this stuff. So let's do two. Oh, I messed it up. I got to be careful when I do that. All right, so uh, now I only got one guy digging over here, so I don't know why. So let's see what these guys are doing down here. Um, Satisfied. They're annoyed after having to drink without a cup or goblet. Yes, so we're going to be solving that problem soon. Yes, we will. And we can certainly so start solving it right now. So now we can uh, start to put structures down. So let's do a workshop. And let's do this workshop. We need, um, we need carpen carpenter. Okay, so right there. Let's put the carpenter right in that spot. Now, it's going to ask you what to use for it. Uh, andesite, I don't know what that is, uh, if that's uh, good stuff. But we cut down that tree, so let's use the kumquat logs. All right, and then let's do another uh, workshop because we're going to need a lot of them. Actually, let's do that fishery up on the surface, all right, because uh, I'm not too sure if it matters, but fisheries, um, it's under farming. Fisheries can uh, so like we can get the raw fish, but uh, it's not it's not helpful. Uh, it's basically I'm sorry, not helpful. It can't be eaten while it's still raw. So now we're gonna build a fishery up here, and we also want to build a um, let's see workshop. We want to build our trade depot. We don't necessarily need it just yet, but we're gonna need it in the fall. Travelers will come to us, 
and uh, um, and they will they will be able to trade with them. So you can see all that stuff's getting built. All right, so now let's see what other workshops we're gonna need. Uh, just initially, uh, farming. Um, we're gonna need a butcher, tanner, fishery. We need a kitchen. I was gonna do the kitchen down here below. Um, so let's stop that. Let's go back up here. He's still digging out the kitchen area. And uh, and there we go. Um, so we got the carpenter workshop. Now look, we can add a task. So we got wood and stuff. Now we're eventually going to make beds and doors and everything. But let's make, um, oops. Uh, darn it, I forget. Under wood, uh, what is it called? <laughs> oh, no, not a goblet. Um, darn it. Darn it, I forgot what it's called. Somebody look on Wiki, uh, Dwarf, Wiki, uh, Dwarf Wiki. Now here, look, we have struck turquoise. So I can left click on this to open up this menu. And then I can go here to go check it out. Ooh, right. Look at the, this is where the turquoise and the site. And uh, rough hewn and the site walls. Now, somebody look up and the site on Google. <laughs> Tell me what it is, because everything, like, they say that you'll become, like, an amateur, um, an amateur uh, geologist in this game. Because if andesite is used for, let's say, making glass, then you can use it to make glass. It's it's crazy what can be done in this game. So, um, oh, good. So this, our little farming plot is getting dug out. And uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, okay, so we got the carpenter th uh, thing, and I can't remember. Oh, it's not here. It's the craftsman workshop. That's why. We want the craftsman crafts. So let's put the craft dude here, and let's keep using our uh, logs for that. So on the craftsman, we can make a cup. See, the dwarves were upset. You can look at the dwarves and find out what they're upset about and then solve their issues. Now, let's also, we want to eventually build bedrooms so i have got no rhyme or reason to what to how i'm digging this out um so really i'm just i'm just playing to i'm just moving stuff around uh but really you should probably have some sort of plan or goal uh so let's make a cup here oh i can't do it from here yet oh i gotta go wood and then i because i only got wood so far that's not what i wanted to do <laughs> make a wooden gem I gotta go wood opens menu and then cup now this is so now somebody's gonna go grab some wood and then they're gonna go over there and make a cup okay and then my doors will be less less unhappy about making the cup but let's go back to the carpenter uh, less unhappy about drinking with uh, drinking out of the barrels see there he goes hello cup and then they'll make a cup and then it'll probably go to storage but here's the one thing we're going to need soon. We're going to have to make a bed. And we're going to have to make a bed. And we're going to have to make a bed. And make a bed. And make a bed. Now, this is very time consuming to to do this. Um, but eventually, we want to get a manager. So actually, we could make a chair. And we could make a table. All right, those are two things that we're going to need because I'm going to have to show you probably in a later video that uh, you can make a manager, uh, and the manager will, there's a task that will come up then, and you can open the work orders. And then with the work orders, you can uh, order stuff that the, that the, that the place needs much, uh, much easier and much better. Okay, so now let's, uh, now let's make a series of bedrooms, okay? So the bedrooms are gonna need a door, and you can make a small room, you can make a large one. I like to do three by three doesn't really matter i think two i think you could make rooms that are like one by one but really uh dwarves will really like to have um uh they will really like to have um a cabinet they gotta have a door before you make a bedroom and they gotta have uh, a cabinet and a bed and that's basically it so you can also make a dormitory you don't have to make these rooms but eventually the dwarf will be happier um, with if you make uh, if you make individual rooms they will also store their clothing like they will claim the room and store their clothing in there
and eventually we're going to need to make you know what i should have done here uh we should have done like a barracks because because we're going to need to defend these stairwells <laughs> eventually going to need to make a hatch okay so steve says andesite is a volcanic rock that there is a lot of in the andes mountains not sure there's much obvious use according to wikipedia so the volcanic rock i'm sure has uh, a lot of uses but you're right i'm not too sure exactly what uh, what it might be used for but i have found all these rocks that i'm like i have no idea what these things are right um so let's see if there's something else that i want to have right here uh stone workers uh thing i want that and we'll make stuff like that. now i'm down i'm down on logs so let's go up top and uh i've got people gathering plants over here and let's go cut down some more trees there's a custard apple tree that might be really nice there's an andesite boulder so maybe we could go collect that boulder dead bambara ground nut plants okay uh lime tree trunk i don't want to cut down all these tree trunks there's another there's another uh kumquat let's go cut that one down now what are kumquats you can eat them right date palm there's a lot of wow we can go gather fruit up here which is going to be awesome i'm not even too sure i know how to do that uh yeah okay so this guy's look he's making some fisheries let's check him out he is satisfied look he's lustful talking with a lover yes they will uh they will have sex they will have children he is lustful remember remember talking with a lover he's aggravated after being pestered by flies uh, he is annoyed after having a drink without a cup all right and you can see our drinks are going down so we do need to get that uh farm up and running soon now um we can go into this stone workers craft shop and we can make stone stuff so um great so now we also gotta make doors so let's go back over oops daisy let's go uh back to here and we need to make doors so uh da, 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 because we we will need to uh have seven doors and so populations can go up to like 150 and stuff like that so um so i would go faster um if i knew more about what i was doing uh so, uh ginger just read an article in the uh, guardian about dwarf fortress and they they give it a 10 out of 10. ign i think is the magazine that gave it a 10 out of 10. So uh, it's it's unbelievable what uh, people think about this game. But, you know, Kumquat is a cold, hearty citrus native to southern China. Hey, we got the Andes. We got we got uh, China over here. So this is all stuff that we can eat. Which is going to be great. We could probably also brew most of them into some sort of alcohol. So that's going to be helpful, too. All right. So now if I want to place stuff. OK, so I got these things that are uh, potentially built. I want to place some furniture. Let's start placing some beds, right? So um, I can uh, put that there. Oops, I forgot. Oh, I got a message. What is this message? Hey, uh, so that guy that I probably gave all of, oh, workers cancels make bed, needs logs. Oh, wow. Okay, so now did we go cut that? Did we go cut down that tree? We don't want to run into that issue anymore. So now they're going to be dragging those logs back. Let's go find some more. Uh, I mean, there's a, there's enough trees around here, right? So I think if I just cut down a bunch, I think hopefully we'll be okay. I like those lime trees. I want to I want to brew some lime beer. So, oh, I was did I I had it on the wrong one. That's why I was like, why didn't this happen? It's probably gonna say to cancel this order, right? You have struck. Whoa. No, 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 no. Clear zircon. Hey, Steve, look up clear zircon. Do you have enough storage for the logs? I don't. I need to make a bigger storage unit. Let's see where this gold is, everybody. Gold! There's gold. Is that the gold? Rough hewn native gold wall. Hello. Dig, dig, dig. All right. So let's go that way and let's dig around it. See if we can find some gold. 
All right, so no, Steve, very good point. I need to make a larger storage unit. So that's going to be our farm. So then let's go down here. Let's a, a, a layer lower. Let's make um, let's make a massive storage place, right? Actually, what we could do is we could um, we could make a monster storage unit and just divide it. Just divide it into different storage. Put put put. Uh, um, you know, rocks over here and, and wood here and, and everything else. So, you know, of course, everything is also by distance planning. So you want to be careful that you, uh, uh, you, you may, oh, so zircon is a crystal. Yes, I have heard of cubic zirconium. It looks like a diamond. So it might be worth some money. We just don't know yet. So I still got a couple items in the, in the storage thing. So let's check out what else do we have here? Uh, constructions. Uh, Ashri Boyer probably don't don't need this stuff yet, but we will. Uh, clothing and leather we will need. So let's go work on our farm. Ding ding. I thought the farm was one level down. No, we went two levels down. Okay. So actually, before we do the farm, oh, I can do the farm plot, right? So for a small farm. Probably that much land is probably just fine. So now I set a farm plot on the silty clay, which is fine. They'll they'll dig on silty clay. And so now this guy is going to come down here and basically plow the fields. And that's what's going to happen there. Uh, okay, so I got to remember that we are starting. Um, okay, so we saw that already. We are starting doing our farming. But as of right now, I'm going to have to sign off uh, so I can go to bed and get up tomorrow morning to to do more work and look our people are happier they're happy they're getting happy but i gotta get food working i gotta get uh beer working beer and wine working give yourself 100 experience points thanks steve for checking out the game give yourself another 100 experience points for all the information you found on google for us we appreciate it and until we meet again across the internet keep your uh, uh keep your dwarves dry they do not like the rain that is actually a fact um, keep your dwarves dry, your, uh, your what, your pickaxes ready, and your, uh, and your military strong. I'll just, I don't know what I'm going to go. And your military strong! Have a great night, everybody. Dwarf, dwarf. See you later. Keep your zirconium shining. That's right, Steve. Good job.